Guido Appenzeller. I, did I say that correctly, sir? That was perfect. All right. He is the chief strategy of, uh, technology strategy officer over at VMware. Sir, of course, everyone in our audience has heard about your company. We know what you are. We know what you've done. We know that you've taken the art of virtualization and uh, turned it into something, well, that that is commonplace. Something that 10 years ago we, we didn't really even understand is now just accepted to be a part of the IT landscape. Could you tell me just really quickly, how have you seen virtualization change over the last, say, 15 years? Wow, I mean, I think 15 years ago, virtualization was still in its infancy, right? It was this, this very early stake technology that uh, was used in, in QA and, and development. And, um, you know, it, it's come a huge way. I mean, today, a typical customer I talk to, like if I talk to a large bank, like in, on Wall Street, I would say probably they have between 70 and 80 percent of all of their workloads are running on virtualized infrastructure, right? So we, we've made huge advances there. It's become a, a very basic building block um, of a modern data center architecture. Right. Now, of course, VMware right now is in a pivot point. It's, it's looking to the future. It's looking to see where it can get value for its shareholders, where its customers want it to go. And one of the key pieces of that, uh, I'm going to call it a pivot, of that pivot has been VMware NSX. We've heard a lot of buzz about this. We've, we've seen it in the blips many, many times. If you were to give me an elevator pitch to tell me why I needed v uh, NSX, what would it be? So... Yeah, if, I think you said it well, right? If, if you look at what VMware has traditionally done, we've, we've virtualized servers. And, um, you know, th there was a bread and butter business for a long time, but but today VMware is actually a lot more. And, uh, you know, one of the, the things I'm very excited about is NSX, which I think in its simplest form, you can say we're doing with networks exactly the same thing that we're doing with servers before, right? So if you take a hypervisor like ESX, or you may know Fusion from your from your from uh, for your Mac, right? Um, it basically takes a server and it divides it up into multiple virtual servers. And each server is, is isolated from the others. You know, if, if you have, a, uh, for example, a program that, that crashes or that gets hacked on one of these virtual servers, they essentially can't do much to affect the, the other servers that are running on the same physical hardware. Right? So it's very strong isolation. What we're doing with NSX is, is fundamentally exactly the same idea for the network, right? So just like with servers, you still need a physical server underneath, so you need a physical network underneath, right? That doesn't go away, and, and we don't sell that. We work with partners, you know, like uh, uh, Arista, Cisco, you know, many others. Pretty much any networking hardware will do. But then we have a software layer on top that allows you to take this physical network and divide it up into multiple virtual networks. Right, and and that's that's a it's a huge step forward because you can in these virtual networks you can suddenly do things like for example you want to create a new virtual switch or virtual router well it's just an API call or something you can configure in a user interface right we can just create these things on the fly you want a virtual firewall you can just create these things on the fly you want a virtual load balancer you can just create these on the fly all you can automate them you know it's it becomes a, a completely different paradigm of how you manage networks. Right, I, I remember when we uh, first had VMware come into the interop net. Uh, it was it was that moment. Probably it took about two weeks before we fully understood what we had in our hands. It was oh wait a minute, I don't have to care about the physical boxes anymore. I don't have to care about yeah. care about the two forty two U racks of pizza boxes that I had stacked up for all of my services. I just spin things up and down as I need them, and then I get rid of them when they're no longer useful. But and I see the analogy you're trying to make that you're trying to do the same thing right now for cloud service computing as you did for servers. 15 years ago. But some astute listeners would say, but these are different, right? I mean, I, I understand the consolidation of pizza boxes into one big pile of processing and memory, but how do you compile all these different cloud services that are all trying to differentiate themselves based on what they offer and how they offer it? You know, everything from Google doing machine learning to, uh, to uh, Microsoft in big data analytics to AWS with just the incredible range of tools that they have available. Yeah. How do you take all of those which are so different, even though they're under the, the heading of cloud services, and make them a single VMware box appliance service? Yeah, yeah. So let's let me break this down a little bit. There's a there's a lot of uh, different things there. So the the first thing that we did is, you know, we started out virtualizing servers on premises in your in your classic data center, right? With with the server virtualization, and then we introduced NSX, where we're essentially doing the same thing for networks, and then you know things like vSAN, we're doing the same thing for for storage, and then on top of that, we have a management layer that basically allows you to manage across all these things. But up to that point, it's still everything that's running on your on premises, a physical 
uh, hardware. Does that make sense? So there's a, so the, the cloud, so far we haven't talked about it at all. This is just still on-premise. Right. Now, the next step, and that's the thing we, we just showed, uh, you know, that, that I, Kali, I'm, uh, I'm super excited about, is um, how we're starting to extend that into the public cloud, right? So we're seeing our customers are starting to move workloads, you know, from on-premises to Amazon and Azure and Google, right? It's still, a, a, in terms of overall percentage, a small amount, but th there's a huge amount of opportunity there. And we want them, we want to support them as they're doing that, right? And so we, we basically kicked off an internal project where we just, you know, challenged our engineers and said, look, why can't we do the same thing that we're doing on-premises in the, in, you know, on, on top of an Amazon, right? The initial reaction was like, look, it's it's different. We don't control the hypervisor, but we have we have a fantastic engineering team. And, you know, two weeks later, they basically came back with a prototype and said, well, it turns out we can do pretty much all the same things, right? So what we showed at VMworld is how we can, for example, take a, a network, a virtual network, right, with virtual switches and virtual routers and, and stretch it from an on-premises deployment to a cloud deployment, right? So I can take workloads on Amazon and, and on-premise and put them on the same network, right? And then go one step further, maybe encrypt that network, right? Which again, gives me a huge amount of flexibility. Now, we're not gonna do this for every possible service, right? So for, for networking, for storage, for, for compute, for management, for operations, for security, I think those are all things that are that are close to, to our business. You know, I think when it comes to managing, I don't know, Google Translate or so, uh, that's probably a little bit at least further away. I'm not sure if we're ever gonna do that. Just That's just not the, uh, you know, the. I think we're fundamentally still uh, a company that's centered around infrastructure. So if something looks like infrastructure, we, we're interested in doing this. If it's some, some very high level service, you know, like, Amazon has these mobile gaming platforms, right? That's not a thing we're targeting.